Hello, you do a bit me again. Thought I make a quick little video on this new thing that I recently have purchased from eBay. This is a Timex Merlin watch. At least it claims that it's a Merlin. It claims on the listing it was Merlin. And it has characteristics of Merlin. A nice domed crystal. And being it being waterproof, dust proof, shock proof. And as I understand it, time makes use the Merlin name to for their watches that were waterproof, so it classifies as a Merlin. At least it originally did. If and it would if there was a crack in the crystal. Of course it doesn't matter because why would I want to get the, why would I want to get a vintage watch wet anyway? No. Oh, it is I'm a, the new reissue of the Marlin. The face looks entirely different. It's two hands. Still that small little crown. Which does make it a little bit difficult to wind. Because this is a manual wind watch. They did make versions of, of these watches that were automatics. But they are kind of hard to find. And if you look on the back... This is pretty much why I really wanted to get this one. If I look closely, it says U.S. Time Corporation. This watch should is from 1957. A really early version of the watch <coughs> so earlier than what earlier than the reissue ones come from they're based on the mid 60s also if you notice it's a flirtily right above the six it's for a Boy Scout of America. And that real that really appealed to me because at the Boy Scout uniform hanging around my wall. At I am an e Myself, an Eagle Scout. Eagle Scout. And, okay. That's enough of that. Back to, back to watch. No. I don't have specs on this watch at the moment. It is pretty thin. It would be a lot thinner if the crystal wasn't domed, but I really like the dome crystal. It makes it, the hands look like it curved out to the edge. <laughs> there are a couple scratches on it. The scratches from the v pictures on the, um, on the listing made it look like, and you can see if you look at it in the right light, the scratches make look like, make it look like the dial is faded. 
that is 100% not the case. The scratches are just causing the light not to go, not to be able to. You can't see the complete face, but if I look at it in person, the dial is 100% perfect. Now, but back, it does, watch does have quite a bit of wear on the back. In somewhere, that crown was probably the, probably the original case, color of the case. This is, should be, from what I, from what I read, the, they used chrome plating on the, on these watches. To protect, to protect it. You know, in, Oh, it's really nice. It's a really nice watch. Le, I mean, it's mechanical. I don't know if you can could hear that, but it's ticking away at 18,000 18, beats per hour. Which... Is slower than a modern watch that would be either twenty one six, twenty one eight, some something high like that, it's higher like that, but it's an older watch. Something that's very interesting about about early time Timex mechanical watches when they made their own. Back when they made their own movement and so the radio that they just using a, a Chinese movement in. But when they made their own movements, the movements they made, they came out with an alloy that they can make movements out of that will require no jewels to allow the watch to operate. At the time, they did not have the technology to produce seth synthetic jewels, artificial jewels that all watches use nowadays, all mechanical watches use to operate. They didn't have that, though, back in 57. All they could do is mine, mine crystals, uh, mine the jewels out of the ground, and they actually cut and actually cut them, which was expensive. So producing a watch without any jewels was they allowed them to cut the costs. A side effect of this was because was because there's no t delicate little jewels in the watch. Is it made it incredibly shock resistant? Some of you may have heard the uh, um, old saying. Time, Timex takes a licking and keeps on ticking. Well, this watches like this, is, D like this, is where that phrase came from. They were tough. They could be taped. They could be taped to bats and hit in people. And major league players could hit home runs with them. They could be attached. They could be attached to propellers and put in water and continue to work. They, they could do all sorts of torture tests with these watches, and they just kept on ticking. <laughs> so they, so they earned something. Now this watch does come with. A stretchy expansion band, which aren't. I'm not a fan of them. I don't think a lot of people are a fan of them because they, when they contract, they pull the hairs out off of your arm, and they are rough. But this one is nice, and there's not no sharp corners or anything. Everything has a curve to it. So it's nice. I could replace it with another 
another strap if I was wearing it in a different if I in a different um, envi event or environment or at a different and at a different time but you know scratches in the hill I don't I don't know if I'm gonna polish them or not because I can I can read in person and see that it's fine. It's just it shows up on camera that it's not. And yeah, I don't know what else I can say. Oh, one big thing. Come on, focus. See the lettering at the bottom of the dial? Made in USA. You don't. You don't find that on. Uh, you don't find those on watches nowadays. So, that has been. It's at least it was supposed to be a brief overview of. Main of a new watch I have. I thought I made something a little bit different from a electronic thing. Well, if well, quartz watches are elect are electronic. Well, partially electronic, partially mechanical. So those would fit in. <laughs> Let me care. Mechanical watches are. Pretty much just, I like, I like them. I think the rapid ticking that causes them to just keep time free of everything modern that we use to keep time is just interesting. So, that has been a new review of I. Boy Scout signed Time Timex Time Co Time Corporation Inc. Mar Marlin Vintage Watch. So I, if you like this video, like it. If you disliked it, dislike it. And if you want. And if you want to see more videos like this, tell me in the comment section. Okay, that's all for now.